What's going on, Cheetah Nation? James here, and today we're going to be doing, well, I was supposed to be outside doing concrete today, but it's been raining all night, and it's still raining. It's not going to stop until this afternoon, so today is a rain day, so estimates for, you know, doing concrete work, driveways, sidewalks, and so forth. So today what I'm going to show you is how you figure out how <clears throat> to figure out how many yards of concrete you need. So we're going to end this right now. We're going to jump over to the desk and I'm going to show you how to figure out how many yards of concrete you need. You need to call your, you know, wherever you get your concrete through, see how much they charge. And so do the yards of amount of concrete times the price that they charge. And if it's anything like here in my city, if you do have a uh, anything below three yards, they do charge you a small load fee. So, all right, let's get into it. Show you how to figure out how many yards of concrete you need for your job. So, all right, so here's a little drawing I did. You know, pretend it's a driveway. So it's 20 foot wide and 65 foot long. So when you want to figure out how much concrete you're going to need, how many yards, this is what you do. So first step. You do 20 times 65, which gives you 1,300 square feet. So then you take 1,300 square feet, divide that by 80, which then gives you 16.25, which that number there is the amount of yards you will need for concrete. But when you usually, you know, you're doing concrete, you could have some low spots where it's deeper than other spots. And so what you want to do is bump it. By bumping it, it means give it a little bit more concrete, which usually you want to bump it a half a yard. So then that comes out to 16.75, which in other words, 16 and three quarter yards of concrete. So with that being said, that is the math. That is how you do the measurements and how to figure out how many yards of concrete you need. So now you know how to figure out how many yards of concrete you're going to need for your job. So for all you DIYers out there, make sure that you add some water to your concrete. This way it's wet when you lay it down. So it gives you enough time to get it down, you know, get it both floated, magged, as you, you know, enough time to do what you got to do so that you get to look the way that it should look. And for all you out there that's watching my videos, yep, yeah, got a new do. It uh, looked horrible, so shave the head but uh that's how you do concrete well that's how you figure out how much concrete you need um yeah more videos coming soon i got an epoxy garage floor i'm going to be working on uh, i'm going to be pouring a city sidewalk um, pouring city sidewalks make sure you contact your city and see if there's anything you gotta do like here in mine you gotta be you know if you own a business you gotta be bonded and if you're a homeowner, you gotta send in paperwork. Or it's just—it's just, it's a lot of stuff you gotta do just to do a city sidewalk here where I live. But, uh, got more videos coming soon. I got mowings. I got concrete jobs, epoxy jobs. I got a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of everything coming. So stay tuned. If you haven't yet, smash that subscribe button. Give the video a thumbs up.